Hey, Thomas Ake, all right. Yeah, good. Shabuya. Shab shab. I'm outside. I'm outside your house. I can not tell you where I am. no police station. Yeah, I can't get twelve. Yeah, I can't tell you until we must kill. Yeah, I can't tell you until we Yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll wait for you outside. Okay, shab shab. shab. All right, so now I'm off to go to Ntlantla Lux. Um, I'm going to his house. Fortunately, he stays um, in Pimville. Um, and um, I just want to have a chat with him, man. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's one of my good friends. He's, uh, he's the president of Soweto Parliament. He's a commander. He's active in the in the community. He's well respected. So yeah, we are almost here uh, outside Tantla Lux's home. Um, we'll wait for him and then we'll engage with him and then we keep it moving. I'm a timer. Danko, Danko, sis finky. I'm actually quite excited to have this conversation with uh, this young lad. He's young, and I think he must not call him the hot man. Uh, his name is Tanta Lux. Most of you know him for the uh, philanthropy work that he does, but now I know him you know, on a personal note. He's like a, a young brother to me. So, so Lux, uh, basically, what I'm doing here is I'm promoting a movement called Amatima. Yeah. Uh, Amatima, as you know, is the caste slogan for fathers. Sure. Trying to push the narrative of present fathers, you know. Um, we don't have enough of that uh, going around. We've got a lot of GBV issues, yeah. cases. You would know about this more personally because you deal with these issues more yeah. us. You are someone who's quite passionate about uh, Soweto, more specifically. But most importantly, people don't know that you're a father. Yeah. They've never seen that side of you. Yeah. Because you're always uh, promoting the community side. Yeah. Yeah, and Tata Lux. Yeah. Because there'll be a lot of... Yeah, they're going to say, Kanti, how many kids does there? There'll be a lot of people saying that uh, a lot of kids who yeah. get heartbroken yeah. because we play father roles to kids, not even True. like I did that, to many kids. True. So True. as soon as you, you appear on TV and, and you say that God, my kid is mine, the mine, the mine, but yeah. like we're destroying the kids yeah. because yeah. Le, le, even from just a cultural point of view, yeah. us in one Ethics, one hour, one yeah, hour, right. yeah, right. yeah. community. True. True. next door, me how time I next door, time I love. I love so right now we haven't been detached. ตีแท็กบอมเออเนี่ยเรื่องสุดยอดเลยอยู่กับสเต็ปบราเดอร์สเต็ปอ่าเอาน่ะเรื่องเด็ดๆกันเลยนะครับใช่ไนท์เฟ
if, if we don't have that element, then you're only saying the streets must influence your social media. Yeah, and you could now start being influenced so, by the negative so, things. So I could start being be, seeing abusing women as a, as as a, yeah. as, a, as a cool thing because I see it called yeah. Because those are your father have, figures. Yeah, those, those are my father figures, and yeah. I didn't have a, a proper father figures to guide my social alignment. I like see? that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So I want us to talk about GBV. Yeah. The, the 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 biggest yeah. perpetrators of GBV are men. Yeah. So do you think that if we had to create a society of making sure that fatherhood is cool, mm. fatherhood is something that we must embrace as men, yeah. do you think that will help in decreasing the rate, the extremely high rate of GBV that we're experiencing right now? Yeah, I think, I think if we can have a, a, a brotherhood that, that escalates to, to fatherhood, yeah. that, that will definitely address GBV because we don't call each other out. We don't. We don't call each other out. We don't. Aba re mama ngo tlapi le chira. Yo, shaka wenze. Eno wenze. Ah, la le. Yeah. I'm calling them shaka wenze. Yeah, sure. So yeah. Yeah. we encourage rubbish. Yeah. So we must call it out very, very quick. Eh, I, I like rubbish it. Rubbish is rubbish. Yeah. And it so must be called for it. It doesn't matter who it is. It doesn't Whether matter. Whether it's TT saying it or not. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Rubbish. Arpa iskele. Arpa iskele. I love that. Sabo. Yeah. So uh, we we need to we need to in our in our first in our small corners. Talk about the right things. Yeah. Let's encourage us, each other to do the right things. Yeah. And then let's hold each other accountable to say, oh, you're not going to continue being my friend if you continue beating yeah. this woman." I'd rather, I'd rather stay away. Yeah, from, I'd rather stay away from you. Because it's not. And, it's, not and it's not only staying away from you. I'm yeah. staying away and coming back to you yeah. as, as not not as a friend. Yeah. To as make sure that you get arrested as because citizen. we're not going to live amongst such men. No, I love. Yeah. It. I love. Sure. I love that. So the Amatama movement is it something you would endorse? Do you think it's something yeah. that? Uh, uh, should be endorsed by yeah. everyone who's got a child. Yeah, no, look, even those without a child. Yeah. Even yeah. those without a child. Exactly. If you go back to our African values, you don't become a, a father because of biology. Because, because of biology. Yeah. You become a father to the kid next door. Yeah. You make sure that the kid next door, when the father's not around at work, you it's make sure that you father them yeah. until the father comes. Love that. So we're not going to wait until the fathers before we endorse a boom amatayma yeah. as a movement. True. Every man old enough to be a father. Must take, must take the responsibility yeah. and be part of this movement because it's not that. for only us with I kids. I love that. Yeah. I love that because sure. I've always, I've always said, even if, even if you look at the page, yeah, 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 yeah my time, it says yeah. that we we talk to single, yeah. divorced, and yeah. married fathers. Sure. And for us, the definition of father of a father has got nothing to do with marriage. Yes. An uncle is a father figure. A yes. grandfather is a father figure. Yes. And that next door is a father figure. A teacher mm. is a father figure. A, a coach yeah. is a father figure. And for me, it extends beyond the biology side, and I'm glad that you brought it up because a lot of people think, "Oh, I father is only limited to Mosisak." Mosisak is Mosisak food. You always ask about my daughters. You yeah. always say, "No, Oba because yeah, sure. you assume that responsibility of being an uncle father 100%. to them. Yeah. And 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 so for me, with this with this series, it's about exposing and having those conversations with sure. Machita yeah. that we are scared to talk about. Yeah. Uh, uh, we we grew up um, in an era where we can't show emotion. Yeah. Like a Tamalaka. I'm 42 now. Yeah. I only told my dad I love him today for the first time in my life. I've never told my dad I love him. Why? I've never told my dad I love him. Why? I've never hugged my dad longer than two seconds. Why? Because we had to be hard. Yeah. We had to be too hardcore for life. Right. Because the systems didn't allow. Has he ever told he loves you? I don't remember. Do but you love your dad? Yes, oh, they definitely. But why haven't you told him? Because it's we don't have the platform to uh, to exercise yeah. love yeah. in our in our in our systems. We have to be hard. So we need to rebuild systems so much that even a boy child can be able to say I love you to another boy child. Yes, without and without, without, without saying, saying oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. But that. even even in the case, so what? Bakenakai. Bakenakai. So what? Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So we in our black look the systems have collapsed our. African systems, yeah. the systems we live by now, yeah. are very much anti-African. So are. if you just revisit what Africanism is yeah. and our African values, you'll you will find that there was room to say I love you to your dad yeah. in those systems. And they, we used to swim going okay, as boys. Okay. There, was ne there was never thing about yeah. gay or yeah. whatnot. Sure. And obviously, later on, we need to conscientize our kids yeah. about the, the reality of the world, that yeah. there are people who are heterosexual and yeah. there are people who are actually... And it's okay. And it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a lot of gay friends. Yeah. And I've got a lot of gay friends. Yeah. And I've got a lot of gay friends. I'll respond the same way someone who thinks they are straight. Yeah. I'll respond to, understand? I love so that. So, now, 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 it's like, social pressure. Who wants to talk to me about Sydney? Chante Abeso. In Gawa Vita, in Gawa Vita. Yeah. 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 Sydney, you might be down. perceived as gay. Yeah. Perceive me as gay, I don't care. Yeah. It's fine. Because perception is just the perception is, is, is your opinion. It's not opinion. my reality. It's your opinion. So I'm going to I'm going to um, 
embark on a movement using Amatayama to create uh, conferences like yes. Amatayama in Bizo. Mm. We will bring different men to come yeah. in uh, because uh, uh, the challenges I have as a married man yeah. are different from the challenges a single man has. Yeah. Are different from a challenge a different uh, a divorced uh, father yeah. uh, has gone through. But it's about bringing uh, these challenges together as men, talking about them yeah. and creating solutions. That's yeah. that's what this is about. We need to get to a point where men sure. get there and talk about their frustrations yeah. and and we'll realize well, there's a lot in common that we yeah. all share. There's the financial pressure sure. of being the head of the house. Sure. The head of the house. Yeah, sure. There's the financial pressure of of being an example to your kids and sure. doing good uh, for your kids. So sure. for me, it's about uh, tackling quite a lot of issues that uh, we've always put on thrown under the carpet. And that's why I'm doing these sessions. I'm going around and I'm actually encouraging other fathers who are going to watch this yeah. to uh, send us DMs and we're not going to do studio shoots. Yeah. Now go wherever you are. Like now we're at your beautiful place. Sure. Tomorrow I'm at a car wash, Limachita, and yeah, we're sure. chatting. And sure. it's about opening that dialogue. Yeah. So before I close, there are three things I always ask uh, the guests. Uh, three questions rather. The first one I'd like to ask you is, uh, what message would you send to a guy out there who's been struggling to have kids? He might be married, he might be divorced, he might be single. Yeah. He's just had bad luck, he's just hadn't had sure. the, 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 the blessing of having yeah. a child. What do you say to someone like that? Uh, number one, you must respect nature. I don't want to say religion and reduce it yeah. to a, religi a religious thing. Yeah. Respect nature. Yeah. If nature's alignment is for you not to have a child, it's because you probably have a rescue of fathering someone that is not your biological child. Right. So look outside your small your pond. Own, There's a yeah. big ocean to swim in. Yeah. There's a lot of our own peers that have left their kids. Pro kid is one of them. Yeah. Listen, I am now assuming the role of a father to know. Not me and alone. Naturally, yes, yeah. Yes, natural. Not yeah. me alone. Maybe some other people. It's not a competition. Yeah. Yeah. It's even better if we are all doing Because she'll get to benefit. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? So yeah. so such Love things. That. We must look we must be open minded yeah. and never crucify ourselves for being uh, for not being able to do things. Because I think I think I'm at a house. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Second question I'd like to ask you is if there's one thing because your father's still alive, yes, if there's yeah. one thing that you wish you can tell him now, yeah, that you haven't had an opportunity to, to sure. tell him and he might yeah. even see this, sure, what would that be? Uh, I, I know this one is, is I'm, I'm going to be a bit shallow with it, yeah. Uh, he influenced me to, to support the best team in the world, Orlando Pirates. <laughs> so I'm, I've never said thanks to him for, for, for taking me that direction. Imagine, give a little course. Can you imagine no. the pain? Give a little hey. Hey. No, no. Hey. Yeah. But I know the pain because I used to be cool. So I can, but I love this thing is too painful. I had to jump yeah. shit. No, but on a, on a more serious note, yeah. I think uh, if there's something I must tell my father is that. Um, at no point was I, have I ever been ashamed of him. Yeah. Even when he, when I went to the better schools, because Hannah's panda babato loropadi ing ing, he used to invest his money in my education. In education. So yeah. I've never had the opportunity to say thank you, nine nine, to him. To be honest with you, never said thank you because when your friends were buying cars, you took me to school. Yo. So is this your way of saying thank you? Yeah, no, no, 100%, sure. Love that. I want to have some TV. I love it. I want to have some TV. I want to have some TV. Yeah, sure. So before I close, the last question, or the last message I'd like to hear from you um, uh, in 20 years time I want you to send a message to your to your kids yeah that they will they'll be able to see yeah. 20 years from now what would sure. you like to say to them yeah um, in 20 years time I'm now speaking to my kids yeah. and I'm not there they're listening to this yes number one the voice inside yeah must always be stronger than the voices outside mm. it doesn't matter the situation the time the place yeah. the voice inside your intuition is there yeah. whispering to you never ever forget that that's important mm. so it doesn't matter where the systems have taken us in 20 years time but always take a knee and acknowledge your ancestors that's my message to my kids yeah. in 20 years time love that show sure. love that yeah. uh, ladies and gentlemen Tanta Lux, a young feisty yeah. man who's a father is a husband he's an he's a philanthropist he's a commander he's the president of uh, Soweto Parliament I, I feel honored that he gave us this opportunity to talk about the soft side the Atlanta likes and this is what this platform is about and that's why I created it because I want us to be able to cry, I want us to be able to laugh, I want us to be able to celebrate each other as fathers. Thank you Sebonga. I'm a timer series. Thanks my brother. Jayaka. That was proper man. That was yeah. You'll see what I'm doing my man. What I'm starting now is, is they won't be ready for yes. this. It's, it's, it's high time to create a platform. Just finished a beautiful interview with Ndantalax. Young man, bright, he's a father. 
He just wanted you guys to see the softer side of him as well. And he speaks a lot of sense. A father is not just limited to biology. If you are a man and there's kids around you, you must play that father role. Your cousins, your, your nephews, your nieces, neighbors, kids, everybody must play their part. I'm a time. Better stay, listen to your daddy